Hello and welcome fellow gamers, my name is Borek and this is first episode of the new Alpha 14 7 days to die, yes uh, the Alpha 14 just hit yesterday unfortunately I was away for an Easter weekend so I'm a bit late but no biggie, I've just updated the game and went uh, quickly through the update notes and um, yeah it's awesome, it's really awesome and first of all, now we have uh, these profile selection, uh, these profile selections menu where we can uh, pick from a preset, uh, preset uh, profiles. Uh, all of these profiles has their own, um, their own. What 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 do you call them? Um, names or, and uh, background stories some sort uh, I don't know if you will get any details of the um, any things uh, that the, 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 the guy is wearing for example if I choose uh, this jack I don't think I'm gonna get the <laughs> the helmet at first but um, uh, he looks uh, okay. He looks like a bruiser of some kind with the vest and the helmet. So I'm gonna go with the jack and Yeah, let's get going and let's start a new game um, Probably we're gonna make it alpha 14 something like that. We're gonna name it alpha 14. I know that there's um, there's a huge uh, Nevs game, Nevs game update, but we're gonna go with the random gen, survival single player, and now with the standard options. Let's go with the warrior difficulty, day length 18 hours, uh, zombies will run only during the night, but we will, uh, I will change uh, the day length, some uh, day length, day length. Uh, cycle for 120 minutes because this will allow me to make some stuff during the day and I won't be caught off guard at during the seven days hot so drop on the uh, everything let's set it by default and I'm gonna leave the cheat mode on because I don't want to uh, if I'm gonna be um, bugged somehow I want to have an option uh, to spawn in some stuff which I will obviously lose because of some bugs still in the game. So this was this is the uh, Alpha 14 world with a new randomly generated uh, POIs. So let's get going and let's see how it goes. Mm, yeah, we will see how it goes. I hope it's going to be really awesome gameplay. For me, it, it always uh, the game always loads so slowly. I hope it's still recording. I hope my software is still recording, and I hope that the game won't die on me. Well, we will see how it goes. From oh oh yes, sir. So we have a new intro, and yes, there we have it. Mm. There is a, a little bit of role play in this game, as you can see. We uh, we can have a survival uh, survival um, introduction. That's what we may say. So we have a tip, dear friend. The wasteland can be an unforgiving place, and you look like you could you could use some help. And closed it is a short guide to help you survive. Yes, so we need that. And if you complete it, we might just take in a new citizen. White River Settlement, yeah, that's a RP um, thing which is uh, slowly added to the game. Is real and it's safe. Good luck, Noah. So let's continue. And first thing first, basic survival is your active quest. <coughs> the quest status status is displayed on the objective tracker in the top right of the screen. For more information on quest, quests, access your inventory and navigate to the quest menu. So, unfortunately, we started in a really shitty uh, place, a really shitty biome, but um, let's go over here. So, in the inventory, we have an information about the 
current quest. The current quest is to craft a stone axe to help you defend yourself and cut it, uh, crafting ingredients. Cut the ingredients by attacking grass, stone or wood objects. You can also pick up small um, stones by looking at them and using uh, the pickup action. Once you have the ingredients, access the inventory and locate stone axe and the basic category of the crafting window so craft a stone axe now so we're gonna go with this and we, and let's hope that we will survive i don't know where sh should we go let's just hit m so we're um north from the hub city um yeah so let's get going this survival aspects uh, this survival aspect is, is really awesome because uh, this will uh, help uh, new players or uh, coming back players um, to check if they know something about the game and if they don't then this this uh, short uh, survival um, and crafting um, this short survival crafting uh, quest will help them to settle them themselves in uh, in a game so first of all <coughs> we go with uh, with our inventory and with the crafting no that's that's with a tab press tab and then this will bring up your crafting menu so over here we have a stone axe let's favorite that uh, at first and let's craft our first uh, stone axe so we need to organize ourselves um, a bit so let's put the stone axe which looks really really awesome and now we have a second quest so let's go into the inventory and the second basic survival quest is craft plant fiber clothing to protect you from damage and keep you warm in cold weather gather plant fib fibers by attacking grass and small plants when you have the ingredients access the inventory and locate clo clothing category of the crafting window craft plant fiber clothing so we need to gather as much as much uh, as much uh, plant fiber as we can and from what i can see uh, the holy shit that's a big patch of grass so from what i can see uh, the hitboxes are, are already better and maybe just maybe we'll be lucky enough not to run into any zombie dogs because we don't want that at least at the beginning so we need to uh, gather as much as uh, as much grass as possible and i would like to leave this biome because this is the burned biome and i don't like it at all over here so we need to uh, we need to get out of here as soon as possible although the game at the beginning uh, gives us the privilege, I may say so, uh, that we don't encounter uh, too much, too many of the zombies uh, in this starting location. So we might as well pick up some trees and let's see what can we craft with 140, 118 plant fibers. So. First of all, uh, let's go to the clothing and clothing. And over here, as you can see, we have uh, all the things which we can craft with the ingredient with the ingredient with the ingredient ingredients we have on us. So we need to craft pants, shirt, hood, shoes, and gloves. So let's do that. Let's craft pants. Let's craft pants. Let's craft shirt. What else? Hood shoes and of course now we need to wait because we have four crafting slots and the last one is going to be gloves we can also make at the beginning the plant fiber uh, hat but let's stick with the uh, guide at least at the beginning and let's get let's get uh, some more materials because we're gonna need it anyway as you can see over there there's a running there's running pig which was set on fire uh, so yeah that's that's really awesome and as you can see the quality of our eggs degrades really quickly and in just a second it will break we're not gonna we if you're new to the game um, 
let's finish the tree because when you finish a tree you will get additional you will get the if you destroy the tree rock um, or mine or deposit or whatever else uh, you're hitting you will get additional additional bonus uh, thingies so first let's equip ourselves as i said we don't we didn't get uh, the helmet i craft two of them man that's crappy shit thingy headgear so let's do that we can move our stuff with the shift click and what else do we need let's drop this and the last thing we need is a fiber shoes sorry so let's go over here and fiber shoes let's craft them and this is gonna be last piece we need and i need i need a stone axe as well so as you craft stuff you will get a better quality items so as you can see i've crafted the shoes last and now it's 28 quality and the plant fiber uh, pants are at quality uh, one the first uh, stone axe which i made was quality one and now it's quality two so every time you craft an item uh, it will have a better quality or will have a better quality um, pretty soon when you craft another one or another one right so let's get going with the quest so we have fed oh, uh, uh, uh. oh yeah oh so the third uh, quest was to wear your plant fiber clothing uh, access and vent inventory and select an article of clothing then select where action window ones and dressed um, the access ch uh, character menu to see the installation and the defense of your worn clothing uh, provides in the top left um, of the character screen so over here there are some stats like uh, protection against uh, protection against now over here there are stats protection against uh, different uh, different um, things which uh, different situations or you know stuff first of all first one is blunt um, protection against blunt damage uh, puncture damage then the heat and the radiation no there's the heat there's the fire heat and of course uh, just armor shed yeah that's a shed and protection protection against insul insulation against uh, heat is over here with the fahrenheit and the waterproofness if i may say so so the next there's a pig on fire so we if it dies we might go there to get the meat and the fat and the hide which is really essential and because we're gonna need hide anyway i'm not so happy about about uh, oh let's get let's get everything we we, we can get Oh shit, I'm not gonna get hide, am I? Yeah, because we're gonna need... Hmm. Oh, I'm get, getting some hide. Good. Because in the low, lower right hand con cor lower right corner, you can see the f mm, stuff you are getting, you are harvesting from, in this case, this uh, pig. So let's actually drop the raw meat. Let's drop the raw meat, but we're gonna do that in just a second. So over here there is a second biome. Um, but let's go with the quest, with the quest itself. So the fourth basic survival is gather wood, wood by, by attacking trees or bushes. Once you have the ingredients, access inventory and locate wooden club in the basic category. Craft a wooden club. A wooden club is uh, really... Uh, the basic as you can see wooden club the basic uh, melee weapon which will allow us uh, to um, to kill some zombies or some other wildlife uh, so as you can see uh, in this if we you highlight your wooden club uh, over here you will have entity damage this is the amount of damage you deal uh, to the zombies and as you can see stone axes uh, 4 entity damage and block damage like 11 
and the wooden club is good for hitting zombies and bad for hitting trees. Basically, that's what that's the difference between uh, two of those thingies. So another thing, uh, craft a small uh, craft bow and arrow. So we're gonna do that. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're gonna need craft to gather some stones and craft some arrows. Yeah, so we can right now we have some feathers. We don't have that much stone, but we can craft a wooden bow already. And if I gather enough stone, and the stones pretty much lay around uh, everywhere, and you can also <coughs> hit uh, hit these rocks, for example these rocks with your stone axe and this way you will get as you can see you will get uh, scrap metal and and uh, and small stones as well uh, these stones break into smaller ones so you may want to if you have a time you you may want to finish these rocks because when you destroy this block completely uh, you will get additional uh, scrap metal and additional rocks as well so as you can see the durability of our axe is going down but that's really not a big deal uh, if uh, we're gonna craft a new uh, stone axe in a second so now we have uh, we have gathered we have found already whoops that's uh, not blah, blah, blah. we have already gathered feathers by inspecting uh, bird nests because you will find you will find feathers in the best bird nest and when you open up the inventory press R to uh, get everything from mm, this location for example this this uh, bird nest so now let's craft some let's now craft some arrows let's craft as much as we can and we have a wooden bow yes so the uh, so the quest is now completed now uh, in order to shoot this bow and arrow you need to press r to reload reload and the arrow the bow itself right so another quest we have basic survival starter base gather wood and cra and craft wooden frames from the basic category of the crafting window place wooden frames in the world by equipping them and using the secondary up uh, action upgrade them with a stone axe using secondary action while you have wood in your inventory yeah the wood frames which we're gonna favorite are really important things in the game so let's start by crafting 12 of those <coughs> this is gonna be really nice and place craft free wood frames place free wood frames and upgrade them to wood so these are really important because uh, they will often save your ass and in order to uh, build a base or start start building the base you will need to you know place them in like minecraft style like so just with a right mouse button and then i'm <laughs> hearing some <coughs> strange noises anyway uh, if you have your stone axe equip you can pick them up with the e key and you place them with a right mouse button so let's go again. I have 10 uh, wood frames and you place them with the right mouse button by default and with the mouse right button when stone X equipped you will upgrade them to a stone uh, to a um, wooden <coughs> wooden wooden wall. Yeah. So now <coughs> sorry. I'm losing my voice. I had so much fun during the Easter time. Now let's get going. We have another quest and then another quest is craft a bedroll. Craft a bedroll by gathering plant fibers. One, you have the ingredients, open your crafting inventory, navigate to the, to the basic recipes, recipes category, highlight the recipe and click the craft button. Place the bedroll in the world by first equipping it and using the secondary action key. And by default, right mouse button in one place uh, you will see the bed icon on your compass and the map and this will lead you back to your home and 
will act as a respawn point if you die this is all correct so we go to the basics uh, over here there's a bedroll we can craft it for that we're gonna need 20 uh, plant fibers so let's do that and once it is being made let's head on and let's find a better place uh, to stay because i don't like these biomes although that's a, a sand biome oh i can hear the frogs and stuff you're wet so as you can see we're already wet can we go down oh nice <gasps> yes 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 so let's uh, I don't like like the idea that we are still in this this biome uh, I mean the burned biome because I don't like it at all but as you can see we have found a lake around here and as you can see uh, the lakes offer so much sand at shores so i'm gonna gather some more uh, grass but let's actually not do that because i want to finish the um, the quest thingy so now all we need to do is well ah, sorry inventory we have the bedroll on our inventory so let's use it in our oh why it's so blurry so now we have it in our inventory and now all we need to do is select uh, the place and place it with a right mouse button so as you can see now in our over here at our compass we have an indication that there is a um, that your home your bedroll is around here i'm not gonna place it just right now oh it looks so cool i mean the textures I'm not gonna leave it over here because this is gonna be our respawn point and I don't want to have a respawn point somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Right, so let's get going. As you can see, build a campfire. The next order of business is to build a campfire, the last one. Gather some small, gather small stones and craft a campfire from basic cat category of the crafting window. E equip the campfire 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 and place it in the world using secondary action once placed you can use the campfire to warm yourself and cook the campfire is really really important and for that you're gonna need uh, eight stones that's why i told you to gather um, to hit those big rocks which are right over there to get some more um, to get some more s s small stones and this is really really uh, uh, important thing because when you place a campfire over here this will give you this will bring up uh oh so we finished all the quest and uh, we're gonna go with the campfire in just a bit you earn the skill point for completing the basic survival quest spend it by accessing your inventory and navigating the skills menu and highlight the des desired skill or perk and purchase it we're gonna do that in just a bit because i wanna talk about the campfire just a bit so over here this is like a crafting menu uh, brought up by a uh, tab key and over here you can see uh, we can make a charred meat we have some raw meat on us so all we need to do is add some fire uh, wood and cook we can cook all of that meat so we have uh, that's 40 seconds so let's add some more fire that should be enough minute and 10 seconds something like that because five meat will be cooked uh, during the um, next minute uh, so the um, campfire itself give you heat as well because there is a weather survival aspect uh, to the game and over here with the on the character window there is a feels like the temperature in Fahrenheit which will tell you uh, what's the heat um, outside so the desert biomes uh, will yield higher temperatures than the snowy biome over there we just spawned in on the edge of the snowy biome 
so it really really sucks and it has some tough zombies over there so i'm not gonna go there just yet i'm gonna take all the charred meat with me i don't have any water that's not unfortunate but we have a large bone and we're gonna use it tell me we can use it to make a bone shift if not then yes we can fortunately we can because the bone shift is much better tool to gather animal hide and animal fat out of the mm, out of uh, animals which we will hunt later on fortunately we have some fortunately we have some uh, man it's really foggy Fortunately, we have some meat on us because in the survival aspect we're gonna need the food anyway because the food and the water is lowering every every second. Right, so let's get going with with uh, some perks. Well, not. We're gonna do that in the next episode. So I'm gonna wrap up this fresh start episode over here. Uh, I can, I will gather some more grass because I'm gonna need it anyway pretty soon and then we will we will go out venture out to find a nice place to stay hopefully we will do so and I'm gonna need so many so much grass to craft uh, additional uh, stone eggs yeah in just a bit so okay guys that's gonna be it for today's episode I'm gonna record and <coughs> uh, place the second video just today i'm gonna record it back to back and we will see how it goes so if you enjoyed the video hit the like button in the section down below leave any comments about the gameplay off topic or other games you would like me to um, to play and support the channel by donating via paypal and yeah that's much appreciated and any feedback uh, from you guys is appreciated as well so till the next episode i hope you had a great time if you did hit the like button in the section down below <coughs> and yeah bye bye guys and see you around in the next episode